I'm receiving a distress beacon, sir. It's faint. I can barely make it out. Boost the signal. See if you can triangulate on its location. Boosting the signal. Isolating the signature's carrier wave and cross-referencing with the ship's database. I have a location on the beacon, sir. Relay the coordinates to the helm. These coordinates are in uncharted space. There is nothing out there. Uncharted space mainly contains nothing until it becomes charted. Yes, of course, sir. The database verifies the signature's carrier wave as the Gashank, a colony ship lost in 2096. All communications were lost in 2098, some 550 light years from its present location. The Gashank? The fireman from the Academy, the player of that mission for the European Coalition, to join roots with what became Starfleet. The question is, how did the Gashank get away here? Unknown, Captain. The primitive warp drive of that era should not have been able to travel this far in only 200 years. Apparently, according to the readings, it has. Gentlemen, we seem to have been presented with the chance to unlock an historical mystery. Of course, laid in, sir. Let's see if we can charge some of that uncharted space of yours. Take us out now. Move on to the next search grid. Heavy ionization of the atmosphere is hampering the scanner's efficiency. Scanners are picking up something on the planet's surface. Reading indicated a metallic object, 70,000 metric tons. It could very well be the Gashink, sir. Life sign. Negative, sir. Merricks, find Wildman. I need a crew. Full gear, 10 minutes. Aye, Captain. Transport complete. Tricorder readings indicate the signal emanates from below, down in the canyon. Well, I'll be. After all these years, I was still a wet behind years incident when I heard about this ship. Never thought I'd actually see her. She's a beauty, Captain. I'd love to get my hands on her nacelles. Careful, Bartlett. There could be ladies on this ship. All right, guys, let's go inside and look around. Supply of Romulan and Ellen know what happened here. See what you can do with the computers. It might provide some answers. There is no power to this part of the ship. I will need some power cells being down here. I'll take Abram outside to search the grounds. Houston to Endeavor. Captain, did you find the ship? Yes, and remarkably intact. Transport two power cells down to my location. Are the cryogenic chambers intact? All empty. We're about to explore the area for any clues of what happened to these people. Understood. Beaming down power cells now, sir. Very well, Commander. Houston out. 
You're with me, Lieutenant. Activate the circuit now. Connecting the transducer circuit now. Power is restored to this station. The computer system is rebooting. What was that? Most likely a power surge. Probably right. Sure don't build them like they used to. Houston Wildman. Houston Wildman. Why, Jacob, there you are. I've been searching everywhere. You promised to take me on a picnic down at the lake. You naughty boy. Excuse me, but do I know you? Of course you do, silly! Now come on, you promised to take me to the lake. Houston here. Checking in, sir. Mr. Wildman, we're heading back to the Gashank. Alright, stay here. I'm going back in a ship. Call me if you hear or see anything. Yes, sir. Jacob, are you going to finish your dinner? I know the crops aren't as delicious as last year's, but after all, you know that's not my fault. We've barely had a drop of rain this season, and it's affected all of the crops. Now, don't hey, waste- Excuse me, miss, but I seem to have forgotten your name. You know I'm your wife, Jacob. Stop being so silly. It is no use, Captain. There is nothing I can do here. The database has been heavily corrupted. I will need to take it back to the ship in order to decode it. First, I want you to run those scans. I want to see if you can detect any anomalies. Anomalies, sir? Earlier, when I was out in the woods, I suddenly found myself in a darkened world. There was a beautiful lady. She called me Jacob. And here, just a few moments ago, it happened again. Captain, are you feeling well? Yes. I feel fine. Just run those scans. Understood, Captain. Did you find anything? Negative, sir. No anomalies detected. I'm not surprised. There has to be a rational explanation. I've just finished my inspection of the engineering console, Captain. And what did you find? It's remarkable, sir. A ship from this era in such pristine condition. The paint doesn't even look dry. She could have left Starfleet docks just this morning. Almost too good of a condition for a ship that's been lost this long. Captain, do you suppose she can be salvaged? A ship like this deserves to be in a museum, sir. I'll send out a message to the Daystrom Institute. Thank you, sir. Jacob, what is this Daystrom Institute? I haven't heard you mention it before. It's a facility that stores and studies old relics. Silly Jacob. Might be treated as an old relic now? No, the ship! It would be a shame to just leave her here, Captain. Captain, I'm detecting some sort of quantum flux. Yeah, yes, I know. Something or someone's trying to communicate with me. Communicate? For what purpose? A young lady. Very beautiful. She's trying to tell me something. She thinks I'm somebody called Jacob. Am I still beautiful to you, Jacob? She has not been taking her radiation pills as I instructed. I'm so sorry, Jacob. Her pressure's dropping. Can you save her, Doctor? Save who, Captain? They knew they were dying, and they worked together to create a life bar, so to speak, for this infant. Most interesting. I think perhaps this was our mission. And theirs. So, Doctor, what's the status of our little guest here? Well, aside from a little cog and a runny nose, he seems to be doing remarkably well considering all the trauma he's been through. 
excellent. And he is most definitely human. He is most definitely human, Mr. Sarek. In fact, I think he may be due for a diaper change. Care to do the honors? We'll give you new insight into the inner workings of a human body. No, thank you, Doctor. I am well aware of the human body's inner workings, as you most eloquently put it. I find no logic in belaboring the point. You know what I love most about you, Sarek, is your sense of humor. Any word on the Gashank, Captain? I just received a message from the Daystrom Institute this morning. They said they would be extremely pleased to have the Gashank on display. Oh, that's wonderful. Thank you, Captain. The cryotube design and construction was exceptional. It would have to be or this little guy wouldn't be here right now. What I mean is the people focused all their time and effort on a life pod to save this infant. Go on. And yet they somehow managed to breach the fabric of time and space to contact you, Captain. Your point, Merricks? Do you believe the woman you spoke with was some sort of non-corporeal entity, sir? I don't believe in ghosts, but I'll have to admit, there are more things in heaven and earth, Mr. Merricks, than are dreamt of in your Starfleet manual. Perhaps there are, sir.